So, maybe not. So, I'm going to stand here and play the part, the role of the Toppy Color Red, but I'm going to mix it up with everybody, okay? Toppy Color Reds are the doers. We like to do things. We like to be moving. We like to be making things happen. When we're not doing something, what do we do? We get restless and we go do something. We're the, we're the doers. Now, understand that these elements, the E colors, are descriptions of what the behavioral scientists of the 1920s called doers, makers, socializers, and relators. So we're trying to mix these together. They're the culmination of what the ancient Asians called fiery earth, wind, and water. <coughs> so the, uh, the understanding of these, this four personality, every personality thing you do is gonna be in a factor of four, or it's probably not gonna fit, right? On the left-hand side, this group of people, we're more task-dependent. We, we, we like tasks. We're more task-oriented. We like to do tasks. We like to think about tasks. So we're the doers. You're the thinkers. You like to think things through. It's, uh, it's important to you that you have a process of how you get through things. And then you come to some conclusions based on that and you feel good about the way you got there. We're the thinkers. Top and color red, uh, yellows, we're the socializers. We like the social aspect. This does not have anything to do with introverts and extroverts. What do you think I am? Introvert or extrovert? Introvert. I'm an introvert. I'm an introvert. Even, when, even though my e colors are yellow over blue, I don't like the whole, all, I'm, not a, I'm not an extrovert. I have to manage tendencies to put myself out there. The toppy color yellows, the socializers, we don't mind mixing with folks. We don't mind the social aspect, okay? The toppy color blues, the relators, we seek that relatability, all right? We want, we want to factor in the way ourselves and other people think about things before we jump, y'all don't jump into a lot of things before you're a little bit introspective about it. Fair enough? That worked, yeah. Was that? That worked, yes. Yeah. So over here, we're more task oriented. We like to do tasks, we like to think about tasks. We like to manage tasks, we like to tell people what tasks they are. We, we like to be doing those tasks. And, and, and we're a little bit independent in that when we do or create a task, we have a way we like to do it. If other people are going to do it our way, that's great. Come along with us. It's not that we don't like people. It's that we like people who will do things the right way, and the right way is our way. So you hear a lot of, out of the top of the red, you hear a lot of, it's my way or the. You don't hear that out of a lot of top of color greens, but they think of it. They think of it. I might need to so remember, your e colors are yellow over green. Yeah. Right, we'll get there. Okay, okay. So we're just talking about the tops now, the most predominant, and then we'll start talking about that secondary. But we're more independent. Over here, you have a less uh, dependency, a less independent, and more people-oriented. Now, that doesn't mean people are correct. It's not that we don't like people. They like people. That's not it. 
It's that we, we mix easier and we think about the relatability of people, right? But we're more interdependent. We'll mix. We want to know what other people think. <clears throat> we, we, we seek that thought. We care about what other people think as long as it's what we think. Right? So when you're on those lines, we get along really, really well. When you're not along those lines, it's, I need to process this a little bit more. Up front here, we're faster paced. Yellows and reds, we're faster paced. We like to be moving on the go, and, and, and we don't like to slow down. Now, you're both yellow over red, right? So you're, you're in that, let's get it done. We're, 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 we're out there. But the back part here, greens and blues, the top you color greens and blues, we need time to process information, and we want to be a little bit more introspective. We like to be right before we before we move. Fair enough. I don't like to jump out off that cliff when I might be wrong. So I'm going to be a little bit more introspective about it. I'm going to find that relatability. We need time to process. So I want you to think about it this way. You've got a crew out there, and in that crew, you've got somebody that is ready to go, 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 go. But you also have people that, that need time to process. What's going on? Red, yellow. Come on over. We've got our toppy color red. Come on, right here. Very good. So, where was that? So, if we're ready to go, 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 and you're not, right? What do we call those people? that we just can't seem to drag along with us, that take too much time slow, take too much time procrastinators, what, lazy, right? <laughs> right? We, 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 of course, we don't say this out loud very often, but that's what we think about people that need time to process because we're faster paced. Well, watch this. What do y'all think about people who are ready to go, 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 go? What do y'all call us when we're, we're ready to go and you think, man, I think we just need a little bit more information. What, what do y'all call that? What? Reckless. Reckless, good. Or I'll fix it when they screw it up. I'll fix it when they screw it up. <laughs> so in some place they call them cowboys. They're just out there. You know, Wranglers, what was that? Marines. Marines. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So I want you to think about this one. Let's say we've got a good mix of this front part of the brain and the back part of the brain on a cruise. And we're ready to go, go, go. And you think that we're being reckless. And you think that we need to pause a little bit and get some additional information. And you think that we're being reckless. How do you think that mixes in a pre-task brief if we don't manage it? Not very well. Not very well. But when you talk about it, we're ready to go. Here's our bases for being ready to go. I give them enough information so that we're ready to go. I give them enough information to be relatable. I've got to manage that tendency. Watch this. Toppy color reds and yellows. We don't mind failing our way to success. <clears throat> right? We learn from experience. Right? Again, we're going to get to you in a minute because you're strange. Yeah. <laughs> and you've got different e colors. <clears throat> so um, we're, we're ready for that, but we have to have that conversation to give you enough information that we are then ready to go. So we have to manage those tendencies. It's, it's not automatic. Let's talk about strengths and potential limiters. Another thing that sets e colors aside and is a little bit different is all of them have, all the different personality regiments have strengths. But what do they call the opposite of a strength in most personality profiles? Weakness, okay? If I say you have a weakness, or you say, that's one of my weaknesses. Is it reasonable to believe that each of the top personality types 
will hear and feel the word weakness differently. Mm -hmm. In other words, we, it's not a weakness, they're describing a strength. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. They're describing you, but that's a strength, even though you may be talking about a, a potential limiter. Okay? So, uh, a weakness, I really don't want to be weak around people. I'll just do everything except that thing. Right? A weakness, uh, I'm going to go to work on that. I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to go line that you so you can go off at me. I'll stay awake at night worrying about my weakness and how I can fix it. And, oh, poo. <laughs> I know. There's nothing. Well, if I've got a weakness, then nothing I can do about it. But that's not the way things really are. The strengths are those things we're good at. They're why we get picked for things. They're those things that we know we're inherently good at. It's what people like about me. I can point to those things, and, and that's part of my strengths. It's what I do and what I resort to when I need to get results. I think a little bit deeper. I become more reliable. I socialize and internalize that, and I start to do it so that I get results. Okay? Strengths. So some of our strengths, and I want you to just, uh, can you kind of slide over and just read out some of your strengths if you don't mind? Strong will. Um, okay, we've talked it. That's the first that she went to. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, she ordered hers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she very competitive, independent. Uh, I'll give her a strong ego, maybe. Uh, I'm very decisive. Okay, so what we tend to do with strengths is we, these, remember that 1.2 million data points that we said we had? All of these aren't going to apply to you to the same degree because remember, we're all a mix of all of them. So there's some of them that are really, really out there in the strengths that we feel. Those are, those are the way that we are. And we come across that way. What are some of the strengths of the top of the list? Okay. Logical, good. Serious. Serious, good. So can you relate to some of those? Again, not all of them, but some of them. What are some of the strengths of a toppy color blue? What is that little girl? Supportive. Yeah. Cool. This, this piece about... Agreeable, continued calm. That loyal piece, toppy color blues are known for their loyalty. They just um, in their in their realm, they're they're always considered loyalty. How about a toppy color yellow or some of y'all's strengths? Okay, people were in it, good. Influencer. Influencer, great. Enthusiasm. Yeah, we have some enthusiasm about everything we do. Can our enthusiasm over overtake some? People sometimes oh, never, never did. No, <laughs> <laughs> by the time that happens, I walk away and go find somebody else. Yeah. So let's talk about potential <laughs> limiters. Now remember, the reason why in e colors we have potential limiters is because they're managing. So that's again what separates e colors from some of the others. In, in a lot of the others, here's what you are, and here's what you do. But in e-colors, here are some of your potential limiters, and then we talk about here's how you can manage some of those potential limiters to get success. So these are how I tend to react without thinking. There are my, is, is it reasonable to believe that different people with different personality tendencies instantaneously react differently to situations? Yes. Right? And, and we don't understand. How many of y'all got kids? Okay. Anybody got more than one? Okay. How many of y'all have one that's like you? And one that isn't. <laughs> and the one that's like you, you get it. And the one that isn't, so, oh boy, there is challenge. That's the challenge kid, right? I want to go on record. I didn't say that one out loud. And, and so I might as well tell you about my family. My wife is a is blue over green. Those are her e-colors. 39% blue, 37% green, almost no yellow and red. Until we learn those differences, I never really understood why she was the way she was and how I could approach that in a better way. So remember, our potential limiters are how we come across to others. You said a great thing. You said uh, egotistical, but I don't think so, right? 
And that, that may be completely true. The question is, what do the people around you think about that, which is what I may need to manage, as opposed to what it really is. See, these are what make things difficult. It's how others see you, not how I see myself. These are not weaknesses. In fact, they could be strengths taken to the extreme. So you may be able to pause down a little bit on that judgmental piece, on, on some of the elements, and just back off it just a little bit, and you get all kinds of gain out of that. So our potential limiters, let's start over here. So we may be optimistic, enthusiastic, persuasive, and animated, but somebody read how we come across to people. Don? Uh, emotional, disorganized, societal, uh, reactive. Yeah. So, Rick, I want you to look at this one right here. You said you were influencing, and how might it come across? Uh, manipulation. manipulation. Sometimes we're talking, 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 trying to explain, yellow splaining, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we don't realize that the toppy color red um, comes across as pushy or domineering or in, <clears throat> impatient or unapproachable. By the time you got the information out that they need, they're done listening because they've got all the information that they need. Toppy color greens, what are some of your potential losers? <coughs> Okay. This is the one. Yeah, this is the one right here. This judgmental. This is the way we tend to come across. So think about it this way. Let's say we've worked on something and we think it's ready to go, and we take it to this subject matter expert, this engineer that has a has a lot of toppy colored green in it. They immediately start tearing it apart. What do I then stop doing? I stop taking stuff. So if we don't manage these elements, here's the other thing about toppy color greens that we've noticed. See this self-critical piece? We will paralysis by analysis on ourselves. We blame ourselves, we internalize that blame, and it's almost distracted sometimes as a potential element. And then toppy color blue, how about some of these? Reluctant to speak up, Yeah. unsure, stubborn, yeah. And this, and this comes across as somewhat awkward. So if somebody comes across as somewhat awkward, what do the rest of the people tend to do? We tend to allow them their awkwardness, and we may back away a little bit. So sometimes we need to lean in or lean a little bit forward on those elements and speak up, right? Because that's one of our uh, potential owners. Um, did you, you want to? Cover the toppy color reds? Sure. <laughs> Push right there. I'm here with you. It's Push okay. the invasion. Okay. So remember, this is, this is how we may come across. So let's say that I've got a couple of toppy color greens and a couple of toppy color blues and a toppy color yellow and a crew leader that's a toppy color red. And in the past, we brought some things up that we have some concerns over, but they have come across as unapproachable. What happens with your reluctance to speak up if it's coupled with someone that is unapproachable and, to a topic called blue, insensitive? We just stop speaking up. Folks, when crews or organizations, small organizations, have these conversations before they have the interaction, it frees them up to speak up. It makes us lean in a little bit to become more approachable. It makes us a little bit less judgmental. We shut up long enough to hear somebody else talk to us about what they do because we, we want to get what we know out there. Okay? Toppy colored reds, we like to know what because it's quick. You tell us the what, we will figure out the how. And we'll figure out who we want to do it with. Not our own set of whys. You don't have to tell me why we're doing something. All you got to tell me is what to do, and I'm ready to go. Toppy colored greens, we like to know and say how. We like the process. We like, to, we like it to be laid out either in here or on here. And if we don't know how, we will gather information until we figure out how. 
the toffee color blues, we like to know why. Well, you know Tracy, right? I mean, for years, she would ask why for the silliest of things to me and my wife. Why? Why? Because? Because? <laughs> oh, why? Why are we going to? But that's what popped out of her brain, because that's the way her brain is wired. You know, 39% of this toppy color blue that need to know why. But watch this. Once we started communicating in a way that one of the first things we talked about was the why, everything started to fall together. And then we like to know who, who we're dealing with, who I've actually seen Toppy Color Yellows write a different report based on whether who they're writing it to as the personality and tendencies of what. We'll just write it short and sweet because we know they won't read it anyway. I know the level of detail they like, so you give me this report, it makes sense, but you're going to have to put more detail in it for them. So this is okay, but you never figured out the details, the causation. You ne we never put that in there. Whereas with another toppy color yellow, it's just all about the news. This is what it means, right? So our communication styles are a little bit different. We like to instruct as toppy color brands. We like to show people that path. I've shared with y'all, with a couple of y'all before, my wife doesn't just create a grocery list, but tells me the way I'm supposed to go through the grocery store to get that grocery. Stuff. What, what are your colors again? They're um, green or blue. Green or blue. So you're in the right color. Perfect. The toffee color yellows, we like to engage. And in that engagement, we um, try to make sure that we're interacting with everyone that we can interact with. Okay? We like to tell because we're kind of truncated. We know we're focused. We know the what. We tell people the what, okay? And, and once we tell people the what, we kind of expect that they got everything they need because that's what we need. And, and off they go. But remember, they have more of a need for information, and they have more of a need for the who. And then, again, that there's that relating piece of how we like to communicate. Great storytellers to get people to understand why you think the way you think. And you do it very natural, okay? But one of the things that we did in the early, early days was figured out that different people with different personality tendencies get hurt differently. So the toppy color reds, because we're what people, because we're, we're fast, we're fast paced, because we're out there, we don't mind failing our way to success, we tend to get hurt by rushing. And taking, if you open up your pocket guides to this, all of this stuff is, is in your pocket guides here on page. Um, yeah, I think it's 11 through your, your particular colors are on 11 through 20 or 22. So you can find your page that is your, if you're a yellow or blue, if you're green or blue, okay? So here's what I'd like for you to do. I'd like for you to go to this page of your pocket guide. And so if you're a yellow over blue, that's page 22. If you're a red over blue, uh, 18. Just go to your page. What I'd like for you to do is just circle the two how I could get hurts that most apply to you in your mind. So this calculated risk piece, what we found out is it's not a calculation at all. It's a perception of risk. Now, if I'm moving fast and I know the what and I don't mind failing my way to success, then that perception can be low. But if I'm overconfident, I tend to have a lower perception of the risk associated with it. This lack of information and time to process in a toppy colored green we tend to let the incident, incident outrun, our, outrun our ability to gather information. So we've got a linear way that we like to gather information. We're gathering that. In this instance, moving faster, especially in a challenge 
you know, in a, in a, during a procedure that that procedure is going wrong in healthcare, it starts moving pretty quickly, but you've got a whole lot of empathetic, toppy colored greens and blues in the healthcare industry. They all need that information. And sometimes it's moving faster than we get it. Toppy colored blues being rushed or relying on others. We don't like to be rushed. How many of y'all have heard, uh, anybody ever seen MASH? My master's is, is got Charles Emerson Winchester III. I do one thing at a time. I do it very well, and then I move on. I don't like to, they don't like, he doesn't like to be rushed, okay? And then, top and color yellows, we tend to get hurt by jumping in to help others. I will see a risk to Bob, but I don't see the same risk to me when I jump in to help. If a baby carriage starts jumping, starts running out into the road, a couple of people will say, ooh, that sucks. And a toppy color yellow, but I'm going to get it. Yeah. Okay? So we will jump in to help others. But this whole piece on reliance, again, I'll, I'll tell you a quick, is it okay if I kind of teach my story around? So my wife was having a uh, um, little tumor removed. What do you call that? Yeah. Tumor removal. Hey, there's, a, there's a place for it. <laughs> Been a rough week. A rough Can you cut that? Been a rough <laughs> week. Or no. Maybe I'll just say something about Jessica, then I'll know it'll get cut. Um, <laughs> so she, uh, lump back to me. That's what it's called. Hey, help here. She's just regular terms. Yeah. Don't understand. Yeah. So she was going to have a lump lump back to me, and we went in, and the anesthesiologist. Now, in healthcare, they've got some protocols around what we do. Right? You check the risk veins, you ask people what their birth date is, you do all of these things. The anesthesiologist came in like gangbusters. He came in and said, all right, here's what we're going to do today. So uh, we're going to put you under a general anesthetic. It's not going to be done for very long. We're going to do this and this and this and this and this. So far, we haven't had any coverage. Look, I know that as a pre-task brief, and I'm the human performance guy. So I say, <laughs> hold on just a second. But he slows down. What? I said, we thought that it was going to be done under a local. Well, it's not. It's going to be done under Joan. I said, hold on. Just a minute. Now, my wife, Tommy Color Blue, that I like to rock the boat, is sitting on the table going, oh, geez. can my HP husband shut up? <laughs> somebody that knows what they're doing do their job. Now, of course, she said this to herself. She didn't say it out loud. Bless her heart. <laughs> But she's sitting there, and I said, hold on, you know, she didn't even fast last night. We did not, we were not ready for a general anesthesia. And my wife said, it's going to be okay, they know what to do. I said, no, I'm, I want to stop and find out what's going on here. So the anesthesiologist storms out of the room, grabs her oncologist, brings her back into the room. And the oncologist said, what I want you to learn to say, never ask somebody why they did something. Say, tell me what happened and how it happened, and then shut up and listen to me. Say, tell me what happened and how it happened, and then shut up and listen to me. Okay? The oncologist knew this and said, tell me what happened. And the anesthesiologist said, that guy won't let me do my job. <laughs> <laughs> We don't know, so we're not going to tell them. You know. <laughs> she said, well, hold on just a minute. Let's figure this out. Tell me what happened to me. I said, well, he started talking about the general anesthesia, hadn't checked wristband, hadn't checked birth date, just kind of came in like gangbusters. And, and to be honest, we thought it was going to be done under a local. She says, can you hand me the chart? So the anesthesiologist hands her the chart, looks at it, says to the anesthesiologist, now, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Fisher. Mrs. Fisher is going to have a lumpectomy done today under local anesthesia. What you have here is Mrs. Robinson's chart. Oh, oh. She's in the room next door. Oh. Now, Mrs. Robinson weighed about 300 pounds. My wife weighs about 120. If you tell 
tell her I said that? <laughs> what would have happened had this played out all the way and she gets given a general anesthesia for a 300 pound person? Shoes, probably some checks and balances along the way, but this is where it starts. It starts to go this way. Okay? There's an ego and there's a time pressure there. Now, can I ask what, what time of day will start for seniors? It's 9 o'clock in the morning. So one first one. No, one first one. So, okay. so, so we looked at all the traps and everybody took a big, big deep breath. But the point is, she believed that the uniform, the title, the, the place, but I had no trouble jumping into help. And this time it worked. But sometimes we jump into help and we're the ones that get hurt. What's your colors? Oh, I'm sorry. I told everybody earlier. I'm yellow over blue, but I'm 1% apart on everything. So everything is really